WHO is putting pressure on Africa to consider getting the Big Gates vaccine. In response to statistics from the World Health Organization claiming that over 190,000 people in Africa could die of COVID-19 in just one year, many Africans have said that they are convinced that the unfounded statistics are used to coerce the continent to considering the Bill Gates vaccine. A study by the WHO says up to 44 million people on the continent could get infected during the same period. However, many Africans are saying that unfortunately scientific modelings have, have dismally failed in Africa. The earlier predictions was that millions would have been infected in Africa. Even though the number is growing, it is far from the prediction made few months ago. African says WHO and all their cronies should just give up and this first because the fear mongering is no longer working. At Morel underscore ZN, when were these studies done? At WHO? You must go study Australia and stop lying about false stats about Africa. We in 2020, we know now when the white hand claims to give its steals and murders with the herder. At Ihai Belgikan lies, WHO is trying to scare us. People die every day in Africa from different ailments. What to what do they do about it? Western countries distribute guns and ammunition to rebels who kill millions innocent civilians. What does the media say about that? We all are going to die one day. At Faustin underscore MK, he said, Thank God the WHO is corrupt, and anyone with common sense knows that their predictions are unreliable instead the sa government should call on the people of south africa to make use of their survival instincts and protect themselves and africa will be spared as it has so far meanwhile there are now more than over 44,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus across the continent with a number of African countries imposing a range of prevention containment measures against the spread of the pandemic. Well, may the good Lord continue to protect us in Africa hmm. because this so-called vaccine is getting to be like by force but thank god the whole of africa has come to say the fact that africa is not a testing ground that africa is not a laboratory yes and we cannot you know release ourselves to be tested with one vaccine we don't understand it won't be our portion it's not going to work for them and that is it that is final this has not gone well with a lot of people, most especially in Africa. Someone was asking a question that why is it that Bill Gates is insisting on texting this vaccine on Africans? Why is he not trying it with the Americans where a lot of people are dying on a daily basis? Why Africa? So a lot of people are of the opinion that if this continues, then you will we should know that there is something to this vaccine and we have to open our eyes and be very vigilant about it why is it that it's putting more pressure on africa to you know be texted of this and vaccine come to think of it who is your creator is bill gates god is he our creator then why should bill gates decide what to cure to heal the people of Africa. In fact, a lot of people are of the opinion that Bill Gates has to be questioned. 
Well, I see no reason why he should keep insisting that Africa must leave. What is his concern? Is he God? That is another question. Is he the creator of the universe? That is another question. And meanwhile, another question that has been going viral on social media is that why is it that the World Health Organization believed so much in Bill Gates that they are ready to use his vaccine on Africa? And why is the World, World Health Organization not talking anything about the African COVID organic that everyone is talking about that is coming from Africa must it be from Bill Gates now you want to save Africa and Africa has offered their own vaccine that can cure them then why is it that the World Health Organization is not saying anything about that that means there is something to this Bill Gates vaccine everybody has to be very careful well, I will tell you categorically that Africa is God's own land. No matter what God is protecting his people, Africa is a place whereby God watches. It's a place of God's habitat. So anybody that is saying he wants to save Africa should save his own country should save his own continent because Africa does not need any vaccine to be alive. And even if Africa needs this so-called vaccine to survive, then we have the African organic vaccine. And meanwhile, some are even of the opinion that the Madagascar vaccine is enough, is better and is good for Africans. We don't need Bill Gates' vaccine. He should introduce that to the Europeans and that is final. Africa is not a testing ground. Africa is not a laboratory and that is final. Well... That is it, my people. Let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.